Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know how you got here, but I'm so glad you're here. First things first, I'm sure you noticed the addition to my name. I'm getting married this week in just a couple of few days. And I am pre-recording some videos because I am going to be off-grid a little bit, if you will. But you can follow us, by the way, side note, on our vlog channel, Southern Adventures, where we will be documenting our wedding. We will have our wedding video up, all the things. So be sure you come over there. It is linked in the description of every video. I just wanted to make that little announcement because I know some people will be like, did you change your name again? Did you change your name? I just added my last name because I'm getting married this week, y'all, and I'm so excited, so happy, and I've had a lot of people say, it's getting kind of hard just to find you as just Amanda on YouTube, and I'm like, okay, I'll just put my full name out there. So here we are, Amanda Ray. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. While we await the premiere of season 19 of Sister Wives, we're talking all the things. Gwendolyn Brown in particular, okay? Gwendolyn used to post on her YouTube channel and her Patreon quite a lot. She used to react to her family's hit TLC series and fans really loved Gwendolyn's input and her reaction. Look, her feelings, her reactions are very real and raw, in my opinion. And you can tell. She will snap off and pop off real quick, like, when she's got some thoughts. You hear her in this clip right here, in this particular reaction video she done, to the tell-all that was season 17. Do y'all remember when Cody was ridiculously like over dramatic grabbing Sookie's leg like I wanted to get back I mean it's just it was weird okay weird she then calls him out for uh, being disgusting and she thought it was horrible when he was you know comparing the ex-wives to a dog panting like a dog she said it was disgusting and then listen to her talk about how Cody tells her to be nice to Robin and she says Robin's not nice to me and then she kind of cuts that off but look that was a big takeaway in my opinion I'm like uh uh Gwendolyn just yelled it out for us okay she said Robin's not nice to me mm -hmm. let me sip my coffee and that, my friends, is why a lot of Sister Wives fans do not like Robin. She is so mean to these women and kids. And then will sit on her behind and attempt to cry like she is the victim. But that is just my thoughts and opinions. And I know you got them too. So meet me in the comments below. I'm going to give it over to Gwendolyn. As always, you could go find these full videos and her full reaction to them on her YouTube channel. Gwendolyn Brown on YouTube. She hasn't posted on her YouTube channel or her Patreon in quite some time. Maybe she got her hand slapped by Cody Brown. I don't know. I'm just speculating and assuming. But, yeah, I know y'all got some thoughts and opinions on that, too. So, go ahead and meet me in the comments below. Here you go. Listen to Gwendolyn and what she says about Cody and Robin. Gwendolyn, we are on season 17, episode 15. I really know if they can process like any one thing that happened during that time because there were just like a lot of like things and then it was the next thing and then the next thing and the next thing. And you know, like I didn't really have a lot of time to think about it or get deep into things. Um, There was one point, however, when he was like, I'm most scared of poverty. Okay, not surprising. But like when you think about it, it's weird. Like, that's my father. He should, he has 18 children. He had four wives and his biggest fear is poverty. Like, that's wild. I feel like I'd be fine with poverty because like that's how I grew up for the first eight years. So not technically grew up, but like I've been in that. And I feel like he should probably be fine with poverty because he's been through that. But the fact that he's afraid of what he's already been through and something that he's so familiar with, I don't know. I didn't love it. It hurt my feelings a little bit. I was like, you're not afraid that your children are going to die and abandon you and stuff. 
because yikes and it makes me think like once i'm like the successful psychiatrist lady hearing that from him is like sh would he want to be back in my life for more than just if i became successful with money or would he want to be back in my life for me hurts my feelings a little bit but anyway so i kind of gave my patrons like two hours to ask the questions before I picked out which ones I'd be answering so I was bad planning on my part but uh, they, they seemed like pretty well received like these questions had about the same amount of likes as my usual questions so it seems to me like this was an episode that people were, wait were waiting for but I'll get into the questions now. Uh, Jen says, does your father tell TLC what questions they're allowed to ask him during the tell-all? Those seem to avoid some of the hard questions that viewers would love to hear the answers to. I totally agree with that. I would have, like, the whole time I was watching, I was like, where are the, where are the hard-hitting questions? Where are the tough questions? I don't think that my dad tells TLC what questions they're not allowed to ask, but I feel like he probably, like, com might communicate that he's, like, not comfortable with certain things. But the thing is, she said, is Robin the favorite wife? I'm pretty sure I saw that in, like, a coming up scene for the next episode or something. She said that, and he was like, that's such an offensive question to ask, but he seemed so appalled by that that I wouldn't think that he was telling them they're not allowed to ask certain questions. It was weird to me that she didn't ask like a lot of big questions people would actually be interested in. Then Surviving Pod, which I'm pretty sure is the Surviving Sister Eyes podcast. On a scale of one to 10, how much bullshit was Cody full of with that? Mary gave me a really cool birthday present, so I wanted to reconcile with her until I listened to what Christine wanted instead for the first time in a marriage story. Don't expect you to know what happened, but how obvious was it to the dude was making the entire story up on the spot given how well you know him? Him saying that like 30, Rice Krispie Treat somehow reconciled the relationship and made him want to be with her again doesn't seem accurate to me. I don't completely understand this question. I'm so sorry. But to me, I just understood it as he was in a good mood and she was pandering to him and making him happy and stuff. So suddenly he was like, okay, I'll listen to you. Um, and I think that that's all it really was. And it wasn't that it was this beautiful gift because, I mean, to be fair, her Rice Krispie Treats could like save the world so i definitely get where he was coming from but i don't think that it really affected anything i think he was just in a good mood and i think he was just happy that somebody was giving him the kind of treatment that he wants katie says what's your reaction to the clip where cody basically equates your mom to a pick me girl and is panting like a dog as a viewer it seems so disgusting and i can't ever imagine describing any woman like that it was so weird like just creepy i don't know like I was looking at it and I was like frozen and I didn't know what to say and I didn't know what to think and like a dog you know those are humans that's really dehumanizing he it's it seemed like he was behaving like the kind of man that calls women females and it, whoa, just it was horrifying and disgusting and really gross and um not completely surprising though unfortunately and the Princess D says, why do you think Cody trashes his OG three wives publicly but rages if someone dares even ask him a question about Robin? That's the big thing. Like, whenever I had a conversation with my dad a while back, he'd be like, oh, you're not nice to Robin. And I'd be like, Robin's not nice to me. And then he'd be like, Robin is the sweetest, kindest person in the world. How dare you ever say anything like that? And in the same phone call, he'll trash all three of his other wives and he'll be like, your mom is such a terrible person and she's taking you away from me. Like, it's, it's wild. I just think it's because... Robin is upholding this patriarchy that he seems to think that is happening and Robin just like listens to him and I, I don't want to like trash her at all but like does what he wants at this point just to make herself and her children survive. Then Tanya Brown, do you believe that Christine had this big freak out that somehow prevented Cody from reconciling with Mary? I don't think that it prevented Cody from reconciling but I think it gave him a good excuse to be like oh it's her fault that we're not in a good relationship. To me, that's what it was. That like, my mom had a problem and so he decided to blame my mom for the issues that he's been having this whole time. Whoa, whoa, y'all. I'm telling you, what she says is so real and valid and important and it needs to be talked about because she's a child over here calling these people out like, hello, you're rude lady rude i mean take her feelings and emotions into consideration for the love of sweet baby jesus cooter and robin how rude anyway let me know what y'all think in the comments below don't forget to like and share this video season 19 is on the way sister wives season 19 premieres mark your calendar set your dvrs september 15th 
that is so soon. Y'all, I'm so excited. 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Y'all, I'm going to have you covered with the full rundown, full recap of the new episode the Monday after the episode airs. I hope you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell located beside subscribe. Make sure it's highlighted to all. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload. Don't forget to take the name change of this channel into consideration and let somebody know if they were asking questions or if they're curious. Let them know your girl got married this week. Whoop, whoop. And you can watch and follow along on our wedding journey. We're getting married on the water on a boat. Yes. Yes, y'all. It's going to be so, so sweet. But like I said, you can watch it all on Southern Adventures. That is our vlog channel. I hope you come over and subscribe. I really do. It is linked in the description of every video. Don't forget to meet me in the comments below and let me know what y'all are thinking about Gwendolyn calling Robin out for being rude. And remember, Gwendolyn filmed her reaction, which in my opinion, it's very raw and real. During the filming for season 19 that we're about to see, uh-huh, put that into consideration too. How rude. Thank y'all so much for not being rude. I love you so much for watching. I will see y'all in my next video or in the comments below.